Many Discord users get API issues while patching a game or when they are unable to connect to the Discord server due to an outage. If you're getting an API issue on Discord and don't know what to do, this guide may be for you. By the way, please like and share our videos to help those who might have the same issues so that we can help them too. Once you're done, then let's begin. First, check for updates. New issues will appear once you don't update your Discord app. You should always use the most recent version of Discord since updates often include bug fixes and added security. The latest Discord server APIs will be compatible with the new app and it will handle user requests swiftly. Next, verify the Discord servers are working. A Discord server may experience brief periods of downtime for routine maintenance. There may be an outage on their end if you are unable to connect to Discord. Developers of Discord may temporarily suspend the service in order to perform maintenance or rollout updates. Visit the Discord homepage to discover whether the servers are down or not if you're having trouble connecting. You may also follow them on Twitter to stay up to date. Next, disable proxy. It's possible that your computer's proxy settings are at fault for the Discord API error you're seeing or for the fact that Discord won't connect. Proxy servers can stop the Discord app from connecting the client straight away to remote Discord server. It gets around the voice IP rules in Discord. So, if you have any proxy addresses set up in your network settings, turn them off to make it easier to use Discord. Here are the steps to turn off your proxy settings. On your keyboard, press the Windows key plus R. Open the Run app. Type in inetpool.cpl and press Enter. Click on Connections tab and click on LAN Settings. Click the box for automatically detect settings and uncheck use a proxy server for your LAN. Click the OK button. Next, troubleshoot your internet. API errors can also be caused by the state of your internet connection. If you get a Discord error, one of the first things you should do is make sure your internet is working. Make sure that your modem and router are both turned back on. You may also want to run a speed test to see if your connection is too slow. If you're using public Wi-Fi, try switching to your phone's data plan or your home's Wi-Fi to see if that helps. Next, ensure that your firewall is not blocking Discord. It's a good idea to have strict Windows firewall settings, especially if you have a lot of information or data on your computer that needs to be protected at all times. However, the Windows Defender firewall can sometimes mess up games and programs. You can check your firewall settings and make sure that Discord is allowed. Here's how. Press the Windows key plus I to open the Settings app. Click Update and Security. Click Windows Security and then select Firewall and Network Protection. A new window will pop up, and on that window, click the link Allow an app through Firewall. Click the Change Settings button. You may now check the boxes of the apps you want to through Windows Firewall in either public network or private. If the app isn't listed, click Allow another app and then locate it on your computer. Once you're finished, click OK and then close the windows. That's it. If you think that this video is helpful, we would appreciate it. If you can leave a like or comment, subscribe to our channel or share this video to your friends, this can greatly help in making Google's algorithm can find and recommend this video to others.